My name is Laurent Schnauer. I'm co-founder of Fly. I'm really passionate about new technologies and I naturally fell in love with drones when I first met them a few years ago. I'm convinced that in the future we'll have flying robots around us helping us in our daily lives. But before that, we must overcome a few challenges, in particular with respect to safety and usability. So what we did at Fly is to go back to the drawing board and invent the flying robot of the future. It had to be safe, robust and with a great user experience. We've been hacking around in my attic for about a year, building prototypes out of Belzebuth and DIY electronics. And after many, many trials, Fly eventually stayed in the air and proved to us that it was uh, all possible. So based on this, we managed to convince uh, Pierre Loest, who is a famous Belgian uh, entrepreneur, but also a talented drone pilot. He became really enthusiastic about the project and decided to invest. When I saw the first time Fly, I immediately realized that it was not a drone, it was something else. C'est comme un dessin de Da Vinci ou de Spielberg qui prend réalité devant vous. Prenez Fly en main et vous comprendrez pourquoi j'ai décidé d'investir dans ce projet. What makes flying design so innovative? It's made of a single shielded propeller and four control vents for stability. It has the same size and weight of a soccer ball, it's packed with sensors, a powerful onboard computer, a HD camera and a Wi-Fi connection. We want it fly to be smart and autonomous, so you don't have to be always piloting it. You can select a simple mission through the mobile app and just enjoy the live streaming. Fly is a lot of fun to play and interact with, but it's more than a toy. It's really a platform on which you invent the future of flying robots. We have two APIs and an SDK which enable developers to create applications for controlling Fly remotely or when on the onboard computer. It runs Linux and supports the popular computer vision library OpenCV. You can make Fly autonomously detect and react to what it sees, like tracking someone or something in a room. Fly is really amazing because it's in the air, but it doesn't seem mechanical. Uh, when I saw the fly, the first time flying, I was really impressed about the simplicity of the construction. It's, it's so, so amazing, simple. And if it comes too close, you can just push it away and it, it, it moves again and you don't hurt your fingers or anything else. We now have a complete functional prototype of fly and we are ready to enter the production stage. So when you support us on Kickstarter, you are showing us that you share our vision and our enthusiasm. So we invite you to join the flight crew Make a pledge and let's build the future of flying robots together. Flight is such an amazing adaptation. A creature that flies doesn't have to think about how. I'm Patrick Edward Sardi and I founded Pleiades. I grew up with stories of sentient robots and magic pets. No one ever had to tell them how to fly. We've been taught to think of robots as tools, each one designed for one specific chore. What if, instead, we design a robot as an extension of ourselves, versatile, open to possibilities, experiential? Spiri comes with the basics of flight built in. It's programmable. If you make hardware or software for Spiri, you don't have to worry about how it flies, holds steady, avoids bumps or recharges. You can move on to new things. Just imagine what you can do with that. We wanted Spirit to run your applications, but also keep its flight reflexes alert at all times. So we isolated flight from the applications on two separate processors. We know from experience that quad rotors can be subject to sudden jolts and collisions. So, we designed Spiri to be light and exceptionally strong. A carbon fiber ribbon protects the rotors, and the body is reinforced at points of impact. Spiri is programmable, but how will anyone get your apps? That's why we're building a platform. It'll work like an app store on your phone. 
there's enough processing power on board to run a wide range of applications and a slot on top for sensors or other accessories. As a creative team, we wanted to bring these elements together in a beautiful form. That was an important part of bringing Spiri to life. Spiri has a 1 gig processor, 4 gigs of memory, Linux and ROS. It's set up to make development easier for one or many Spiris. Spiri offers a layer of abstraction that is very interesting for software engineers. You don't have to fuss about the mobility. You have that already built in. Just go right ahead and go and solve actual problems. One of the things that intrigues me about Spiri are the possibilities on the commercial application side when it comes to uh, uh, marketing for uh, air airborne video production and stills. Uh, additionally, when it comes time to uh, actually inspect buildings, to be able to have uh, a unit pre-programmed to automatically go and inspect certain key features is going to be of uh, tremendous benefit to property managers and, and builders. Here in Montreal, we have a really booming scene as far as rooftop gardens sprouting everywhere in the city. It would be really interesting to use computer vision to actually automate taking care of all those little gardens. In Laos, where my family is from, there is a huge problem with unexploded ordinances. It would be very interesting to use Spiri to survey large parts of land in order to find those unexploded ordinances and save lives. Your support will help us improve our equipment and expand production. The more you get involved now, the sooner Spiri will be ready to use. We want Spiri to reach the most people possible, so help us make it good and friendly. We want Spiri to have an extensive API and a set of intuitive flight maneuvers so that you can start hacking with it right away. We're looking for all levels of support. If you like what you see, contribute, and please spread the word. Spiri wants to meet you too.